Yes, mom, I'm doing fine. Yeah, she's doing well too. Stop worrying. Everything is going well. We just got back from the honeymoon nice and safe. In fact, first day back and I was already called back into work. I know I should be relaxing, but I had to take it. Honeymoons are expensive. Well, yes, yes, of course the wedding gifts help. But that doesn't mean I want to be financially dependent on you forever, you know? Don't get me wrong, okay? I'm always going to appreciate you and Dad. But I have a beautiful wife to take care of. And I need to get back to her. I just got home, so... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go spend time with her, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Talk soon. Love you, Mom. Bye. Ugh, what a day. (sighs) The house is unusually quiet. I wonder what she is up to right now. Usually she at least has the TV on or some music on, but... Eh, whatever. I need to unwind first before I find her. (laughs) Such a long day. I can't believe I was actually able to get that all done in one shift, honestly. That workload would have taken any of my coworkers literal weeks, I swear. And yet, I was able to get it done in one night. Doesn't help that my entire honeymoon they were just stockpiling my work for me. Ugh. I really am the best that company has. Oh, there you are, dear. How was your day? Mm, I see, I see. You seem to be taking well to the new arranged thing. I mean, we did just get back from the honeymoon, so... You must be feeling nice and calm. No pressure. No more stressful things to deal with. Yeah, you are right. It's nice to not have to worry about pleasing our parents or anything dumb like that. (sighs) Although, we are basically just roommates at this point. Don't worry, though. I'm sure our parents will be back soon enough, begging and begging for grandchildren. That's just how parents are. Nothing we can do about it. Anyways, what's for dinner? And... Wow, why are you dressed up like that? And this late at night? Don't tell me you had secret plans for us. Um, excuse me? Why don't you say that again for me? You plan on going out with a guy tonight? Hmm. Why? Is it a friend or someone you're interested in? Of course it matters. Why wouldn't it? You know what? I don't even want to hear it. You wouldn't dress up like that for some friend. It is obvious what you're doing here, and you know what? No. No, no, no. There is no way in hell you were going out with some guy tonight. Why not? What do you mean, why not? You're my wife. You think I would just stand by and let you go do something like that? Look, I know this was an arranged thing, but I'm not going to just let you go out with some guy. You're my wife. Right. Now it might just be appealing to parents, but but I can't let you. I refuse. You don't think I like you at all? You are a beautiful woman. You're strong, kind, talented. Even if it was sudden, even if I didn't pick, I can tell that with the way I feel in my stomach, I can't let you go. Hearing the words come out of your mouth, feeling them in my ears, made my stomach drop. It made my throat tighten, my heart beat faster. I I don't want you to go. Why? If I can be feeling like this, I like you. 
I love you. I don't want you to go spend time with somebody else. What do you mean, what am I talking about? Dear, why are you acting like it's crazy that I fell in love with you? I know it sounds surprising, but I mean it. I don't want to see you or hear about you going to dinner with some guy. I don't want you to go dress up for somebody and know that it wasn't for me. I want you to dress up like that for me. I want to be able to kiss you when I get back home from work, talk about our days, laugh, eat together. I want to go to bed next to you and I want to wake up next to you. I know that the fact that our marriage was arranged makes it seem fake, but really, even if it was arranged, I've fallen in love with you. I will not and cannot tolerate you going out with some other guy. So please, will you just cancel your plans with him? We can spend time together and bond as a couple. For real this time. I was only saying all that stuff about our parents as a joke. I mean, I just got off the phone with my mom who was already pressuring me. I get it. It doesn't feel like a joke. At least not right now. But it was an attempt to lighten the mood. And the only reason it doesn't feel like a joke right now is because you and I have been so focused on the arranged part of this. Have we really even spent any time together for us? Have we tried it? I know you're fun to be around. I know you're funny, smart, beautiful. I know a lot about you, and I know that I want to try. Please, can we at least give this a try, dear? You really are my type, and I have been hoping that I can be yours. Instead of going on a date with some guy to see if he works out, let's go on a date together and see if we work out. Honestly, I'm obsessed with you. I can't describe it. I'm sorry it took hearing this to make it come out. But after feeling what I felt right then and there when I heard you say those words, it confirmed everything I've been feeling, and I know this is what I want. I want to be happy with you. I want to have kids with you. Not for our parents, but for us. I want to spend time with you, not for public approval, but for us. I need you to understand that. Take my hands and look me in the eyes. We can restart. Let's pretend that we never got married. Nobody forced us into anything. This could be our first date. And this time we get to choose. That way no one can take our love away from us, not even ourselves. If after this date you decided it isn't working, I'll let you do as you please. But I beg you, dear, give me a chance. I'm so jealous and I cannot contain it. I'm so passionate about you and I. Please. Really? Thank you so much, love. We can go wherever you want, I promise. I will do everything that I can to make sure you're happy, okay? As soon as you decide where we're going, let's start over. Let's become a new couple, a real couple this time. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> I'm really happy you changed your mind. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done if you had went sit at home and just worry about you. I promise you, everything I said I meant, I love you, dear. And I want you to fall in love with me, too. <laughs>